Hello and welcome. Uh, this is my 8-bit maze that I made, so I just want to quickly show this off and explain a few things about how this works. So, uh, the main idea here is that you want to go downstairs, so uh, to get to the next level you need to find the downstairs icon, um, which is not this one, this is actually upstairs. So, the idea is you want to just try and navigate through this. Every time you press a button, um, up, down, left, or right, it will redraw uh, the screen here. And to try and explain how I got the animation to work, if I go to the preview screen, you'll actually notice right away that this is literally the exact same thing, just with the green border to just show that these are, in fact, different um, sp spreadsheets. And if I zoom in a little bit closer, you can definitely sell, uh, see that these cells are just basically colored in. And so if I keep hitting the left button here, for example, uh, you can see that this uh, the character actually starts blinking in a little bit. And this is just due to the fact that Excel is a little bit slow at trying to draw um, all these cells of uh, the player. So to try and explain what's going on here, uh, I basically have the background, uh, which is uh, something you can find here. So I think I'm somewhere in this region here. So what it does is it basically copies this as a range, or uh, for those of you that don't know what a range is, uh, it basically copies this uh, like as if you were to just right click and hit copy. Then if I zoom back out, oops, not that far. Then it basically pastes what I had copied here. And then it draws the player on top cell by cell. Now, the reason I have to draw the player cell by cell is because if I look at these frames of animation here, and I believe I was going left, so let's say I was to try and copy this as a whole, and then paste it. I uh, basically can't right click there. I'm just going to hit Control V. What happens is that it actually does delete the background there, which is not what I want. So to basically correct that, I have to draw and color the player in cell by cell. Now this, of course, does make it um, slower. So if I hold down the down button and up, you can definitely tell that the player is moving pretty slow. Now the trick to making this run faster as I found out, is that when I draw the character cell by cell, it will draw it faster if it's drawing it in a spreadsheet that it's not, that is not being displayed. So in other words, if I was to like go in here, for example, it actually draws it a lot faster. Um, you can kind of get a better sense if I look at the positions here. You can see that these numbers change quite quickly. Um, but the idea is that what I do is I basically copy this. So I copy this preview screen. So after I do that frame of animation, I copy that and I paste it to this screen. And that is how I get the animation to run a little bit smoother and somewhat faster than the preview screen. Okay, so I'm not going to try and quickly complete the maze here. So when I go down these stairs, it will try and redraw the next level. It will be a little bit slow since it's got, um, it basically has to redraw the entire maze. And if I hit up, notice I don't actually move up yet. That's because it is still loading. That's just due to how Excel works. And so it does actually redraw this entire map here. A uh, couple more things. Uh, you probably noticed that this did change from gray to purple. It does cycle through each of these uh, colors when you complete a maze. So the next color would be pink, then blue, green, yellow, orange, red, and then it'll cycle back to the gray. Um, one other thing I can show off is this screen. This is basically where I draw the maze first before I basically try and color it on this sheet. So if I hit Generate Maze, you can see that it does, in fact, quickly draw through each of these mazes. Um, so this is actually not the part that makes drawing the maze slower. It's actually just trying to draw all these um, pixels here. 
And you can also customize your own seeds. So for example, if I do winter one, I guess, and I hit generate maze, it will in fact generate the maze based off the seed. And to show that it does actually use that seed, I'm gonna type this in and I have to be a little bit careful because the start position is actually based off of what the previous exit position is. So the exit will become the current start position. So notice that was the exact same maze. Right? So basically draws the exact same maze. And if you looked at where, let's say, this exit is here, this will become the next start position. So that's why you have to update, or if you were to share the level with a friend, you need to keep both the seed um, number as well as the start um, position that was, I guess in this case, the current, sorry, yeah, the start position here, and type that into the exit position. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the game.